This problem and all other data structure problems can be found here at Sarai Studies. Link is in the description box below. So there are three things to remember when we are inserting a number, we do it from the bottom. Number two, if you have one thing inside a node, one key, this is called a two node. Just if you see one thing, add a one, it's a two node. If you see two things inside a node, just two plus one, three node. What this means is that a two node is supposed to have two children and a three node is supposed to have three children. So after every insertion of a number that we do, these facts have to remain true. That two nodes should have only two children and three nodes should have three children. So we start with five, then we add 25. But unlike a binary search tree, we don't add it here. We fill it up until we get to three things inside because we can't have three things inside. Then that's a four node and we only deal with two and three nodes. That's why it's called a two, three tree because we can only have two nodes and three nodes. In other words, you can only have either one thing inside or two things inside. Then I have 10. So 10 is in between these, so it would be 5, 10, 25. But you can't have three nodes, and so the idea is that you always push the middle one up. So then this here goes up, and then you split, and you're left with this. Then we have a 4. So a 4 is less than 10, so it has to be here. And you fill this up until you get to 3, basically. So this becomes a 3 node. Then we have a 30. 30 is greater than 10. It goes here. And so you have to fill it up until it gets to 3. It's at 2 right now. Then you have a 2. So it's less than 10. So it has to be somewhere over here. So you ideally would put it here in order 2, 4, 5. But then there's 3 things inside and we can't have that, right? That's a 4 node because then it would be like 4 children. And we don't do 4 nodes. We just do two three nodes. So then again, you would push this one to the top. But unlike this one where you just pushed 10 to the top and it became a single two node, when we say push to the top, it means push to this one in here inside. So then this here becomes 410. And then this is what you have. The same thing, but without the four. Now, you might be like, well, now five is over here and five is not less than four. So it doesn't make sense. But I told you after every insertion, you have to make sure that these two facts are true. If you have a two node, meaning you have one thing inside, it should have two children. If you have a three node, meaning you have two things inside, it should have three children. Right now we have a three node and we only have two children. So we're not satisfying this condition. So we have to make sure that this three node has three children. And so the question is, the number that's gonna go here in the middle, it's gonna be either one of these numbers. And so how do you choose which number it is? It's gonna be the one that's always between four and 10. So whatever two numbers are here. So five is the one between four and 10. So that's the number that you're gonna split off right here in the middle. And you wouldn't pick 25 because it's greater than four and it's greater than 10. So it stays to the right. And now you have satisfied the condition that a three node, so two things inside should have three children. Then I wanna add nine. So remember that insertion happens at the bottom. So when you're adding nine, you're looking at these. You're not gonna add nine right here. I wouldn't add nine over here because nine is greater than four, so that doesn't make sense. And I wouldn't add nine over here because nine is now greater than 10. So the only thing that leaves you with is over here and you would put nine over here. You don't even have to look at this to determine where to put a nine. You just look at here and then you just put it in order. So two, five, and then comes nine. You wouldn't put it here. Two, nine, five doesn't make sense. And your three nodes, so two things inside, still has three children, so you're good. Then we add three. Again, you look at the bottom, because insertion happens from the bottom, and you would put it in least to greatest, so it would be here next to the two. And then you have 28, so 28 would be between 25 and 30. Then you would do 28, 30, but then you can't have a four node. So how do I know it's a four node? I just look at how much stuff is in the inside. It's three keys on the inside, so I just add one four node. You can't have that. So this is not something that you would draw if they ask you to draw things step by by step this is kind of like a thought process what you would draw is this version so you would pull this up and by up we mean put it over here 28 this would be split into 25 and 30 but then the problem is now you wouldn't draw this either you would have to pull this up because you have a four node right three things inside plus one four node so you would have to pull out the 10 and every time you split a four node remember you just make these little circles erase this stuff and then the question becomes well what are you gonna do now because you have a bit of a problem. First, this is now a two node, and a two node is supposed to have two children. Right now it has one. I don't even know what to do with the five and nine. Same thing over here. This is one thing inside that's a two node. It's supposed to have two children. Right now it only has one. So then what happens is you have this right here, and both of these are supposed to have another child. So where do these go? Well, first of all, I look at five and nine. I ask myself, are any of them greater than 10? No, five is less than 10. Nine is less than 10. So it's not going to be here. And I know this needs to have another child. So all you do is connect these because it makes sense that five is greater than four 
and 9 is also greater than 4, so it would go to the right. Now this 2 node, one thing inside, 2 node has 2 children like it's supposed to. But then the problem is, one thing inside, 2 node is supposed to have 2 children, but it only has 1. So what's the other? Well, this can be split. You can just make this a 25, and then remove this, and have this just be the 30. And now you satisfied the condition that every 2 node is supposed to have 2 children. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.